All right, so I'm going to do a piston to valve clearance check on this. And I uh, see a lot of guys do this, and they, they kind of just smash these big wads of clay in there and check it. And uh, I used to do that when I was first starting out, and my dad had a real problem with that. He seemed to think that there was a chance that that would cause some damage. So he started having me do it with these little strips instead of just big wads of clay so that the clay would have somewhere to go to. I can't see how you could bend a valve with clay, but, you know, they were using those sodium valves and stuff back in the day, so I guess he must have had a bad experience. So I use I do it this way with the thin lines instead of a whole bunch. So we got our, you know, these are our checker, checker springs, I call them. I don't even know if that's what they're called. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to roll this over and I'm going to check, there's clay in there and we're going to check the piston to valve clearance. This is also a good time to figure out your push rod length. Like, I guess on our, if you have a set of our rockers, the way they're designed is when the push rod length is right, <clears throat> it should look like that. This adjusting nut should be just flush with the top of the threads, like plus or minus a half a thread or so. So I know that uh, this push right here, let's see. Is a little bit, it's a little bit uh, too short. It's gonna have to come up which I'll just measure that distance and I'll make this push rod a little bit longer. On this one, the push rod's just a hair too long. So these are push rods I just had laying around. So, yeah, you want that to be, you want the top thread to be flush with the nut. And that usually, that means that the way the rocker arm's designed, that means you'll have proper push rod clearance like this, the ball end or the cup here won't be rubbing on the rocker or anything like that. So that's one thing to check for. All right. Boy, I got one spark plug in there and it's got some compression building up already. She's pretty tight. Yeah, there's compression. That's my super good valve job I did. All right. So we're just going to roll this over. And right here is where the piston to valve clearance comes in where the things that split overlap. So we'll pull all that apart and see what we got. <clears throat> so I ran that side through and 
I started taking the clay off before I remembered to turn the camera on, but we ran this side over. It's just barely, barely touching the clay over there on the exhaust side and the intake side. It's The intake side, it's pretty low, but it's still over. I could tell that's a, oh, let's see. That's like 3 sixteenths of an inch. That's like 180 thousandths. So it's got plenty of piston to valve clearance. So we're pretty good with that. So we'll go ahead and get our heads ready and put our springs on our heads and we'll put them on. Another way to check your piston to valve clearance is you know, you can put your degree of wheel on and get the thing pretty close to like 10 degrees before top dead center on your exhaust. And check it that way. Um, I already checked it with the clay, so. Just looking at it, that looks like it's about close to what trying to get. Right about there is where, yeah, it's about 10 degrees before top dead center is as close as the piston and the valve are going to get to each other. I guess they want you to both take an indicator and put it on there. What the heck should I do with these calipers? But I already did the clay and I already know it's good. Just gonna throw this on here. Kind of like so. And One inch six eighty five, and then we'll open it. One inch five twenty. One point six eighty five minus one point five two zero. It's got a hundred and sixty five thousandths of piston to valve clearance on the exhaust. The intake, we don't. I don't really give a crap about that. That's it's so far out of the way it'll never hit. That's another way to do it. So we're all done with you know all this piddly stuff that we got to check before we finish the engine. You get everything ready, but you got to check. Uh, piston to valve clearance. You got to find your push rod length, and I probably ought to go ahead and CC a, you know, a piston and a head just to make sure that our compression's just right. But after that, it's you're pretty safe. Just pile all the parts on, and and you're done. <coughs>
These uh, iron heads seem to be a little more stable doing this than the aluminum ones are. The aluminum ones want to tip over sometimes. Well, the, both heads are now done and ready to go on. So we'll uh, clean those up a little bit, wash them down, and put them on. We can close the book on those. Those heads have been, probably have been apart for decades, and we got them brought back to life. Mm -hmm. 